Welcome to the Raven Space on YouTube. My name is Jason, and this is Raven Space Daily, where we talk about Baltimore Ravens news every single weekday. We are currently live, so we're going to get started. Uh, please subscribe to Raven Space on YouTube if you're not yet subscribed. Also, special shout out to our Patreon subscribers. You guys are the best. And special shout out to our live stream watchers. So, we're going to hop right on into the topics of the day. We're going to talk about uh, some great stuff. We're going to talk about Alex Collins coming back. He is healthy. Uh, we're going to talk about Tucker making history again. We're going to talk about Ronnie Stanley uh, and the injury scare that he had. And then we're going to hop in to the mailbag and the question of the day. So we're going to hop right on in to the first topic, which is about Alex Collins. Alex Collins returned to practice after missing Wednesday practice due to injury. Now, we talked about a little bit uh, last show, and basically everyone agreed, hey, we should not worry about this. This is not going to be a big deal. Um, and I still think that to be true. Um, now, it always is a little scary when you have your top player go down, but Alex Collins is a player that I think is going to be fine. Um, the Ravens do rest players. Everything will be okay. Okay, uh, No worries. No fears. Uh, he'll be fine. Now, uh, now that has, that has a conversation about what about Terrence West, right? Because this was Terrence West's way to get back on the field if Alex Collins is injured. That's not going to happen. Uh, so Terrence West is going to have a hard time trying to get on the field. I just don't see anywhere for him to fit, to be 100% honest. So we'll see. Um I just don't think it's going to work for him. So that's sad, but Alex Collins is healthy. He's ready to play and he's ready to practice. So I'm excited. Now we're going to go into the second topic. Uh, and this one, that gets me excited uh, because it's always nice to hear when uh, someone does something historic and Justin Tucker has received his fourth player of the month award. This makes Ravens history. Um, if you guys didn't know, we had two players um, who won Player of the Month three times. Um, it's a great trivia question. So I'm going to see if you guys can answer it. I'm going to give you a second. Pause it. All right, now I'm about to go. The answer is Ed Reed. And I've, I'm blanking on his name. I'm sorry. Uh, Ed Reed and Matt Stover. There we go. So Ed Reed and Matt Stover are the two players that won Player of the Month three times. Tucker has won it for a fourth time, so he made history. Um, again, if you guys didn't hear, also, uh, the special teams won Gruden's Grinder Award, so that's uh, okay, I guess. But here we see that we have a top-shelf player again in the prime of his career, and he's doing it, and he's doing it well. So I, I, I think that it's super awesome that the Ravens make history once again. I'm glad, um, I'm excited, and hopefully he can continue and be probably the best kicker the NFL has ever seen. So now we're going to move to the third topic. Um, we're talking about Ronnie Stanley and something very scary that happened to the young man. Um, in the game versus Texans, you guys saw he was injured. And he said that he heard something pop. I'm going to read you guys the exact quote. At the time, I thought I was pretty much done. That's exactly what it felt like. My knee has never been twisted. Like that before, I heard something pop, and I thought it was really bad. I was thinking the worst. Um, and I bring this up because right now, we can't afford this. Um, this will be tragic, uh, to say the least. Uh, because our offensive line is already just glued together, and it's the biggest obstacle I see in winning a Super Bowl. Um it's either that or Joe Flacco. I can't know which one, but I would say the offensive line. If Ronnie Stanley would have go down, and then you had to put James Hurst at left tackle, I mean, I would just basically, you know, I, I would, we would not make the playoffs if James Hurst was a left tackle. We saw that James Hurst cannot block anyone on that edge, um, and I think that it would, that would be disastrous. I just mean disastrous. So, good thing. Uh, Stanley's okay. I hope Harbaugh gets him the week, you know, a slow week, uh, not off, but, you know, rest up some more because we're going to need him if we're going to make this playoff push because he is our our best uh, offensive lineman. So 
Now we're going to go to the mailbag question of the day. Um, and the mailbag is uh, brought to you guys by the Raven Space Patreon and our patrons. Check the description below uh, if you want to join Raven Space Nation. And now the question comes from Matthew Dozell. And his question is, do you think Jimmy Smith's bad game against Hopkins will affect his later game and his mental mindset? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, listen, if you guys have watched Ravens football um, when Jimmy Smith started playing, this ain't, the, this ain't the first time Jimmy Smith then got burned, okay? I didn't see Jimmy Smith get beat in his earlier years by lesser receivers than DeAndre Hopkins, to be 100% honest with you. Um, he's a top five cornerback now, but there was a time where every double move, didn't matter what type of double move it was, every single one, Jimmy, Jimmy Smith would jump it and get beat. Um, so it's, the moment's not too big for him. He'll be fine. He'll recover, and he'll be one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL uh, for the rest of the season and hopefully uh, going into the next couple of years as well. So now we're going to go to the comment of the day. Uh, in the comment of the day, uh, again, it's something I love to do. I pick a cool comment that, you know, encapsulate how I think Ravens fans should feel or do feel. And this comment comes from Jim Morrison. And his comment says, they should definitely draft a tight end in the third round. And I, I picked this one because we talked about this a little bit before. Um, you know, we don't need to draft a tight end in the first round unless it's a great tight end and he's there and we have to take him. Um, but I don't think the Ravens are there right now. As long as we get uh, some good players, some players uh, that are good on the offensive side of the ball, it doesn't have to be a tight end. Um, it could be a receiver. But in the third round, fourth round, you go get that tight end that you think is a very raw potential because he could turn into something special. And you just, again, in the NFL, you never, ever know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the Raven Space on YouTube for the best Baltimore Ravens content on the internet. Um, I, I truly appreciate you guys. Please share this video. You guys help Raven Space Nation grow by sharing videos. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. Um, again, I do see a comment in the live chat, so I will answer that comment before I go, uh, that question before I go. Uh, and the question comes from Crook Oville. And his question is, why haven't I seen Correa out there? Is he injured? Thank you so much, Crickleville. Um, and the answer is, no, he's not injured. He's just not as good as Patrick Ansuar. Um, I don't, you know, we don't see what's happening in practice. But I think that Patrick Ansuar is, you know, beating uh, Correa's butt in practice. Um, Patrick Ansuar is a player that is always going to going to throw his body in there, and Correa is not that type of player yet. So it's very easy, especially if you're a defensive coach and you see a guy every single play throwing his body in there, trying to make that big tackle, and then you see a Correa who thinks too much and then the play outruns him and then he has to catch up. I, that's why I think it's happening. Uh, he's not injured. It's just that Patrick Ansuar is beating his tail in that competition. So thank you so much for your question, Kirk Oville. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Again, please subscribe to the Baby Space on YouTube. Uh, and share. You guys help us out. Thank you guys so much. And go Ravens. <laughs>